Hi, my name is Rob Perry, and I'm a part of a small group from the People's Church that was planning on heading to Greece in the fall. We were going to visit our partner, Beyond Borders, an organization that provides teaching and schooling programs for displaced and marginalized children and adults. We were also going to explore other potential partners who are doing good work with refugees. As you probably know, Greece has faced enormous challenges during the last few years, as many thousands of refugees have fled war and persecution, traveled under extreme peril, and eventually landing on Greece's shores for safety. Greece has attempted to care for them, all the while shouldering far more of the burden than is their share, while much of the rest of the world has done much less. We have heard from our partners that in recent months, due to a lot of factors, unfortunately this welcoming spirit has been challenged, particularly in certain areas. Refugees and those who support them are facing an ever-increasingly precarious situation. You know, the image of Greece as a place of welcome isn't new. In the book of Acts, Paul and his traveling companions had just faced violent riots in Ephesus. And this story continues in Acts 20, uh, verses 1 to 3. It says this, When the uproar had ended, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them, said goodbye and set out for Macedonia. He traveled through that area, speaking many words of encouragement to the people, and finally arrived in Greece, where he stayed three months. So after a really challenging situation in Ephesus, it was in Greece where Paul found refuge, found safety, a place of refreshment. For three months, Paul found refuge in Greece. This is an encouraging image and a proud heritage. My prayer for Greece today is that in spite of all the challenges, the seemingly overwhelming needs, and the struggles within and without, that the love of God would continue to be revealed in Greece through a spirit of welcome and courage. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we believe that you are everywhere present. Even in this room as I pray, you are here, and in all of our rooms as we pray together, in all of our homes, you are with us. And even as you're with us, you are with uh, the people of Greece. And we pray that they would have a powerful experience of your presence today and during this season, that you would provide for them, that you would encourage them, that you would strengthen them in their inmost beings, and that you would renew their love. We pray for those who found safety in Greece, Lord, in that they would be encouraged, that you would provide for them their daily bread, that you would heal them from their trauma, and that there would be a great coming together of um, the Greek people and those who have found themselves uh, in Greece for their safety, that uh, your church would be blessed there as they welcome and as they share and show your love. We pray for the leaders of Greece that you would be, uh, that you would motivate them with love and compassion and wisdom and courage to make the decisions and policies that uh, are good. and bless beyond borders and the work that they're doing and the challenges that they're facing, Lord. Just uh, strengthen them and help them and give them your wisdom. And may we as their partner continue to uphold them before you. Thank you because you're with them. Thank you because you're with us. Even now, you are here. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, friends. God bless.